Mama Police. I'm Max Venter. This is Miranda Blake. So, what did I miss? Ellen, I just love your series of Majorca Files. I was just saying to Maddie that we're we're here in like really extreme snowfall and looking at those scenes of the wide open spaces in the ocean and the sun just pounding down. It's just beautiful. Such escapism. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and also in the middle of a pandemic, which is, you know, a silver lining in all of this. If, if there's ever a good time where people haven't been able to travel or, you know, go out with the weather, you know, we're all stuck at home, especially when the weather's bad. It's just so difficult not being able to be outside. So yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's good. It's good timing if there is, if there ever is a good time, you know. And I understand that viewership has gone up because of the pandemic. Sorry, can you repeat that? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I understand the uh, viewership has gone up. A lot more people are watching because of the pandemic. Absolutely. We, I mean, it's been incredible. We were hoping because of the situation that you know people we'd find a, a bigger audience, um, but really didn't expect it to doubled you know figures have doubled over here and that's just been incredible and also it's it's, it's been great because it's sustained it you know so it's, it doesn't matter how you find a new audience just the fact that they, they keep coming back for more is amazing so it was it's we never expected it to be such a hit but um well and also you know there the, there's no blockbusters there's no big hollywood movies to very rare because um, they're all holding off. So now the independents, the documentaries, the, the series are all finding a, a wonderful place. And I think the material is just so good. I think this is a real golden age, as a matter of fact. Um, so, you know, congratulations. Your timing is perfect. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I appreciate that. Yeah, like, like you were saying, it's just joyous escapism, isn't it? So it's. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's murder, but it is escapism. Yeah. <laughs> Lightheartedly, you touch the bottom, you know. <laughs> now, you know, it's the basis of detective partner shows is chemistry, mm -hmm. and um, your chemistry is right on. It's just the characterizations are just so vastly different. I mean, Max is kind of fun loving and rebellious and goofy, and Miranda is by the book. Maybe a tad repressed, is that too strong? And no. she's constantly rolling her eyes at him. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they couldn't be any different. You know, they're so mismatched. It's a recipe for disaster, really, putting them together. But, um, you know, from that becomes a really wonderful drama because of the tension and, you know, and, and the banter between them. And then, obviously, as the relationship grows and the trust and the friendship and the respect for one another they really uh, influence how each other sort of, you know, responds to, I guess, to, to their policing, to their policing work. And they realize, especially in season two, that, you know, one person's strength is the other person's weakness. You know, that was, that's one of my, that's one of my favorite, <clears throat> excuse me, aspects of the show <clears throat> is that they're finding each other yeah. and learning to accept each other. Yeah. Definitely. So, and, and you know, when you go up to the pig farm, and Max nearly passes out, this big husky guy. <laughs> and you're like, well, you know, whatever, I'll try it. <laughs> yeah. There are so many differences. It's just so well written. It's, I love it. Is it exciting to open up your new scripts given the variety of, of cases that you've had to solve? Absolutely, it still is. You know, you're just like thumbing the pages and just trying to look for, essentially for me personally, I en really enjoy playing the Max and Miranda moments. And so you always look for those moments because they're the, for me, the funniest and the silliest and like getting to wind each other up is such a joy. And so <laughs> when you get a new script, obviously you're interested in the case and you think, oh yes, we get to play with that character. And we'll have a new guest artist being, and you just know that, you know, some people are going to come in and have like really brilliant storylines, but ultimately it's those Max and Miranda moments you know, that just always sort of get you giggling or just make you feel warm and fuzzy. Yes, yes, indeed. And also, you know, I guess when, when the pandemic is over or you begin shooting again safely, whatever, um, uh, people, actors will be lining up to come there to do the show. 
I hope so. I mean, we got, you know, with the first season being um, a success, I guess, and being recommissioned, we, we've we always had incredible guest artists, not to take anything away from, from them, but the second series, you get sort of a, a higher caliber or people with higher profile, maybe all, we get like Spanish film, like film stars. I know. Really, yeah, and they're just, everybody wants to work for the BBC and Britbox and it's such like a, um, a a huge thing that you get people people are like really sort of chomping at the bit to come and to come and play with us so it's so it's it's great and hopefully we'll just build on that and the show has a reputation for being a, a fun thing to do and you get to travel to Mallorca the most beautiful island well so yeah it's a paid working holiday really so hopefully people will still want to come hopefully we'll get to go back <laughs> Do you ever suggest anything to the writers in terms of your character? Yeah, definitely. I, I know that as the first series, we were sh as we were shooting, things were being changed as they were watching the rushes. They were realizing what was working and, and maybe not working so well, or what our strengths were as, as actors playing those roles. And so as, as scripts would come out, you'd notice changes or people would pick up on certain things that you'd suggested. And yeah, there's they're always just because we live and breathe those characters. We are in every scene and every scene together. And so it's just sort of testament to, to how much of a collaborative project it is that you can say, I'm not sure if Miranda would respond like this or, oh, I've had a thought and what if we did this in the scene or what if instead of this, you know, and everybody's always up for listening and going, yeah, great, you know, within reason. Um, well, you're the expert. Well, I, don't I mean, know they've written that. it, but you're the expert. You've brought it to life. Yeah. Well, it's like everybody plays their part in it, isn't it? But it's yeah. lovely that you'd feel the respect and that people, that there's, you know, your voice is heard. So that's, that's very nice. Oh, that's so cool. Are you, may I ask, are you uh, in Mallorca now or back in Britain? I'm in London. We're in London at the moment. Um, we shot the six episodes for season two and then came back to the UK and with no, nothing confirmed yet as to when we go back, you know, hopefully, um, well, BBC, I know, are pleased with the viewing figures and hopefully BritBox will also be pleased, but you just don't know. It's very hard time to recommission anything in, in a pandemic. Right. Yes. Well, in future times, I don't think there's going to be any delay in getting you guys started. I honestly, oh. it's just such a lovely series. And, you know, anyone can watch it. All ages can watch, which is another important thing, especially now. Absolutely. It is really is a family show, something for everybody. And um, which is quite, which is quite rare, especially because we do cover, you know, murder. It's a, it's, a, it's a heavy topic, but being able to do, I think because of the daytime slot, everything sort of had to be sort of, you know, toned down and nothing too gruesome, which makes it accessible for everybody. And so, yeah. Yeah, that is so cool. And when you think of some of the um, uh, partner murder series, uh, like Moonlighting, or, um, or, you know, uh, murder she wrote when she's with the, the sheriff or the doctor. Uh, they are lighthearted. And you have to sort of pull back and go, well, it is murder. Yeah. But it's it's palatable. It's it pal is. How does that happen? I don't know. It's the magic of, of what you guys I, do. I think it's what you said, you know, it pays homage to those shows like Dem Dembski make peace and moonlighting and which is it's such a familiar format you know that you're safe with it and so you can be light-hearted with very difficult awful topics because it's just the nature of 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 the, the format I think and yeah. so yeah and everybody loves a puzzle I think that's an important yeah. bit Thank you so much. So nice to speak to you. Oh, and you. I look forward to season three. Thank you. And thank you for saying for such nice things about the show. I really appreciate it. Uh, it's so good. Thanks so much. Thanks. All we're missing is the body. And the who. And the why. You have to admit, it was a totally classic murder. You're under arrest. Great minds.